and today we're hiking to Manoa Falls. Here we go. I am Karen and I'm gonna give you a little information about hiking the Manoa Falls Trail. It is an easy hike and I will go over difficulty later because I know what is difficult for one person is super easy for another, but on a whole, this is considered an easy hike. It is about 0.8 miles each way, making it roughly 1.5 miles round trip. I would budget one to one and a half hours. It can get really muddy and slippery. So it's a little slower going on parts of the trail, especially when it's crowded. Elevation is just over 550 feet, so you do get some stairs. So when's the best time to go? Well, if you're trying to optimize to avoid crowds, I would say go before 8 a.m. or after 2 p.m. But when is the best time to go on this hike if you live here or you're visiting Hawaii for an extended stay? Well, right after it rains because there's more volume of water falling over that ledge so you get that really hardy waterfall. At the same time, it does get muddier and more slippery after it rains so, you know, weigh those two out. So how to get there, I drove because we have a car. If I didn't have a car, I would have Ubered. It's about a 22 minute drive from Waikiki and then there's plenty of parking in the parking lot, but you do have to pay $5 cash. Cash, this is not a cashless state. You definitely need to carry cash while you're visiting Hawaii. Now, how much preparation do you need to do for this hike? Not a whole lot. You will not get lost, I promise. You don't need to bring a map. It's pretty straightforward. But some other tips that I wish I did know is bug spray, bathing suit, hiking shoes, and walking stick if you need it. So bug spray, I definitely got bit, but mosquitoes like to bite me. Bathing suit, if you wanna take a dip in the waterfall runoff, there's this creek that runs through the whole trail. And there are a lot of different little outshoots that you can go and take a dip in if you wanted to. Here's a big thing, I brought my hiking shoes and I'm so glad I did because it was really muddy and slippery and if I had my tennis shoes, I know I would have been just slipping all over the place. If you have any questions about any sort of outdoor gear, REI is, oh my God, there's a rainbow outside. What's next? But tennis shoes are totally fine if that's all you have. Just don't do this hike in flip-flops or heels. Don't do, don't do that. Someone recommended a walking stick if you think that this hike is gonna be tough for you because it does kind of give you that extra leverage while you're hiking on stairs and through muddy areas, that extra bit of stability. So who is this hike good for? Everybody. It is considered an easy hike. It's great if you're going with a group of friends or you're looking for a hike to catch up with somebody on. It's great for family. I saw a lot of young families there. I saw a lot of kids under five. So it's a popular family hike. Lots of people over 50. All right, so advanced hikers, you may be thinking, this hike's too easy. I don't wanna go on it. I want a challenge. Well, there are quite a few other trails that you can access through this Manoa Hikes Trail. So right as you get up to the end, close to the waterfall, there's another offshoot, you'll see it is pretty well labeled, that goes up, there's a lot of great hikes, 
in and around that trail system. And Manoa Falls is really just the beginning of it. Let's talk about difficulty. The hardness of one hike versus another is totally different depending on who you are and I can only speak for myself, but I'm gonna try to give you some perspective so you can kind of figure out what kind of hike this will be for you. If you take me out one end, I consider this hike easy. I would rate it a 1.5, maybe two out of 10, probably 1.5. So when I look back on the hikes that I've done and think about how hard they were, there are two things I consider. One, did I feel safe? And two, was I totally wiped and worn out afterwards? So for this hike, I felt safe the whole time, not a chance I was going to fall off of a cliff. The second part was I worn out. I wasn't sore the next day. I was going through reviews, trying to gauge a sense of how hard it would be for someone who was nervous about this. So this one woman I found, I thought her review might be helpful. She said that she was over 50 and considered herself overweight. And for her, the difficulty of this hike was eight out of 10 which is pretty substantial. She rated it three out of five stars, so I don't think she particularly enjoyed it. Not, she didn't say she regretted it. If you think that you're pretty active, but you haven't done hikes, this is totally a doable hike. Way less paved than Diamond Head, if you want a comparison. And between the two, I would say maybe this hike is slightly more difficult than Diamond Head, just because Diamond Head is so paved but this hike is way less crowded, way less crowded. Even during crowded times, it's way less crowded. So would I do this hike again? Absolutely. It gives you that Hawaii jungle feel with huge leaves and waterfalls and a running creek and it's, it's really cool. So I hope that was helpful. Please remember to subscribe if you are better with words than images and you are just scrolling through this to try to find the information you wanted, go to my website. It has all the information I cited in here. You could just copy and paste and print it out. Let me know if you have any questions and enjoy the hike. Enjoy Hawaii, guys. I saw a rainbow today.